Hi guys, of course, welcome everyone to Juno Sweet Official. Um, we are gonna do our first video reaction by using the tablet or the iPad. Everyone have told me that it's called an iPad, not a tablet. Um, but I'm so accustomed to saying tablet. But nonetheless, we're gonna use the iPad for the first time to do a reaction video. And this one is actually on Facebook, and this one is Smokey um, SCP973 Smokey. I understood it's like a scary scary animation video so we're gonna check it out of course and the screen will be recorded and then uploaded and then downloaded and then edited it's a complicated thing using the tablet i've noticed okay guys so of course i have the ability to pause it um so i will watch it and pause it but let's go ahead come from a concert long night of dancing and partying all of them are feeling quite tired as expected video is turned off and after so much loud music the silence is refreshing it must be airy no one is talking at all in fact, the driver notices that both his girlfriend sitting next to him, as well as his friend in the back seat, have fallen asleep. Okay, that's normal. The driver tries to make sure that he doesn't do the same as oh, the no. car moves down the long stretch of straight. The best thing to do at times like this if you feel sleepy, just park. Just park. Or make one of your friends who sleep for about 10 minutes, then drive, and then you take another 10. Empty highway. The driver's eyes start to grow Ooh, heavy now. Bro, he pack. can feel the weight of sleep starting to press. Stop him. and pack. He turns the radio on at a low volume, but that only staves off the drowsiness for a moment. He can't fight the approach of sleep any longer. Oh. His eyes start to close. Oh no! As he drifts off to sleep, his foot presses down slightly more. On the oh no! The driver's head slumps to the side as the car gains speed and begins to pull to the right of where it crosses oh, gosh. the right line, marking the edge of the highway. The tires dip off the road. And they're not feeling that? And a sudden change causes oh. the driver to jerk back awake. He quickly swerves the car back onto the road. Ooh. A sudden jolt causes both the passengers to wake up. Yeah. Is everything okay? The driver tells them that he just swerved to to avoid an animal in the Really, bro? That's right, nothing to be worried about. They can go back to sleep. I don't tell them go back to sleep. Friends close their eyes and try to go back to sleep. The driver spots something. What? Have appeared in his rear view mirror. The pole is atlas. Headlights. He didn't notice a car pulling out or speeding up. Okay, here come my advertisement. So guys, I will just take the opportunity to encourage you, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the video, okay? Like the video and share it. Of course, please do not forget that. Of course, thank you so very much for your support to Juno Suede. Let's continue to watch this video. Of course, this was to make a scary video at least. His heart is still racing from when he drifted off the road. Uh -huh. He's trying to regain his composure. It's about to get a whole lot harder because when he looks in the mirror again, it's gone? he sees that the oh, telltale. Oh, yeah, I told you the police, police have lit up which is not bad, really. You oh, know, it's crap. not bad. Oh no, oh, no. the driver says, out Just pull off on the side. Everyone is awake now and aware of the cop behind them. Just pull they off, grow nervous, and start freaking out. Not all the activities they had partaken in at the concert were strictly oh, speaking, boy. technically legal in this. State. Oh, what do we do? The driver asks, Pull off on the side, pull over, says his girlfriend. That's the best. The car's sirens come on. This is serious, but then something strange happens. They hear a voice in the car coming over the radio. It's too quiet to hear, but when the driver turns up the volume, the message comes through loud and clear. What is it? It's a gruff voice that keeps repeating the same phrase over and over. You better run. You better run? Who is this message coming over the radio? They don't know, but the passenger in the back seat agrees with the voice. They've got to try and run. What? To get out of here. The driver's girlfriend is screaming to pull over. The cop car speeds up and is right behind them now, almost on their bumper. It's lights flashing and sirens blaring. What is going on? The doesn't know what to do. Should he pull over? Should he try to run? Everyone is yelling. Oh, he shoot. to push down on the Bruh, accelerator. The guy is possessed. Of it. There's no way this old car can outrun a cop. Finally, he makes the decision to brake and starts to pull the car to the side of the road. The police car comes to a stop behind them. Uh -huh. The sirens are off, but the bright lights are almost blinding. They sit in the car and await their fate, but nothing happens. What? The car is just sitting there behind them. After what feels like a long while, the door of the cop car finally opens. The three passengers watch this? silently as a highway patrol officer steps out and begins approaching their car. Yeah. The driver tells everyone to relax, that this is going to be just fine. But the passenger in the back starts to panic. Bro, calm down. If he does, it will mean that he loses his scholarship. He'll get kicked out of school. Well, I'm, 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 I, just, just a moment. You, you didn't think of that before you start doing your illegal activities, such as whatever it is that you were doing, perhaps? 
that's the consequences of life now suddenly you're thinking of everything uh but you should have followed that before you decide to party and real highway patrol officer reaches the car despite it being late at night he's wearing dark aviator sunglasses he looks weird half his face is, is, is this like a terminate is this like a terminator kind of thing and waits the driver feeling nervous and afraid rolls down his window the police officer doesn't move or react though uh-uh just keeps I'm, standing I'm sorry I'm gone sorry number one one cop come out of the vehicle one something is weirdly wrong with that little do you ever see that one cop uh, but perhaps that's the US I guess the Caribbean is different but oftentimes you don't see one and in the night patrol one officer that is highly unusual um good evening officer the driver says no response the driver turns and looks at his girlfriend in the front seat but all she can do is shrug he turns back to the highway patrol man did we do something wrong that long pause saying get the hell out of here but then the patrolman finally reacts oh he bends over and leans in close sticking his head practically through the open window oh gosh tight-lipped face right next to the drivers what is this do you do you want my license and registration the driver asks Bro, I'm gassing. I'm sorry. Oh, this is creepy. And slowly grabs the side of his dark aviator sunglasses. Why is this so creepy? Down, and the driver finds himself staring at ah! a pair of bright red and gas! evil eyes. Ah! Everyone in the car gas! starts to scream as the thing standing in front of them opens its own mouth ah! to reveal a big black gaping no gums or teeth, a horrifying void in its face that screams right. Oh back shit! Back. As you may have already deduced, this was no normal traffic stop. No. Nah. Certainly not a normal highway patrol officer. No. Nah. No, the entity that this group of young adults encountered that evening was one that dozens before them had the same misfortune of running into. What is this? And one that the SCP Foundation is actively trying to stop from engaging in its frightening and dangerous behavior. This is SCP-973. SCP-973 is not one, but actually two separate entities. Uh -huh. The first, designated SCP-973-1, is a police cruiser that appears to be a model similar to those used by actual state troopers during the early 1970s. Okay. And its condition is much like you would expect for a well-used, nearly 50 miserable vehicle, car, uh -huh. with much of it being in an advanced state of disrepair. Eyewitness accounts of SCP-973-1 have described the police car as having numerous dents on the doors and I'll just stop it when you pull all over multiple rust spots and a rear bumper that looks to be held on with duct tape <laughs> Bruh. the vehicle's driver and sole occupant has been designated SCP-973-2 this humanoid figure has an appearance that resembles a Caucasian male in his late 40s it is dressed in the state trooper uniform so wait 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 wait, wait, wait. no the fact that they say like other persons have experiences that means they survived it they survived it that would what that's what it would mean so that means what did it do then then b-1 also looks to have come from the early 1970s and eyewitnesses have described him as being slightly overweight balding and sporting a hand balding he is bald he's not balding Both the anomalous car and its driver will appear at night in a specific location along a particular so u.s highway. why don't the fbi it's go there then? exactly what will cause scp 973 to show up Sleep. on the road Sleep. foundation researchers have hypothesized that its manifestation may be triggered when a vehicle accelerates over a certain speed Sleep. you may think you're safe then if you stay below a certain speed but unfortunately you'd be wrong really it's unknown exactly what speed limit infraction will lead to scp 973's appearance with what the heck? ranging from 35 miles per hour all the way to 70 but when it does occur the driver will find that they are now a target scp 973 will materialize roughly half a kilometer behind the targeted vehicle and will approach them at a high rate of speed wow scp 973-1 sirens will turn on and its lights will flash as it also somehow broadcasts a message into the targeted car that is picked up on the car's radio so, a message that urges the driver to run often accompanied by several expletives in most cases so either do the and what happens vehicle will abide by the instructions over the radio and begin to flee though it's unlikely that this is due to any mimetic effect uh -huh. rather it would seem that most run out of pure terror SCP-973 will then pursue the targeted car leading to a high-speed chase uh, okay no matter how fast the targeted car is though the SCP-973-1 police cruiser will always be faster and it typically takes no more than six minutes for them to be overtaken SCP-973 seems to have no qualms about ramming into Ooh. the fleeing car 
which likely accounts for the extreme damage present on the patrol. But what the heck? While it is unclear exactly what happens once 973 forces the targeted vehicle to stop, either through their own choice or by being rammed off the road, the results. That ugly white mouth red eyes thing. The vehicle that fled will later be located somewhere near SCP 973's spawning location, usually within roughly six kilometers of the road. Whether the vehicles that are found that far from the road drove there in a panic or were somehow transported there by anomalous means really? is clear. What is clear is that the occupants of the cars met a truly grisly fate. Oh, they died? Their bodies will show signs of extreme violence ah! in the south, including evisceration. And some have been so badly maimed and mangled that visual identification was impossible. Oh, gosh. The vehicles themselves are badly damaged, showing signs of impact from another vehicle and severe burn damage is often present in the interior. What so the far, heck? Over 34 individuals and 19 vehicles have been designated as victims of SCP-1903. So how did someone... It is likely that the true number is much, much higher. Perhaps most terrifying of all is that some of the victims... Yeah, okay, that makes sense, okay. The survivor ...has recovered five individuals from sites of SCP-973 attacks, who, in addition Only five? to their gruesome physical injuries, also suffer from varying levels of ongoing mental trauma. But oh, why gosh. not just destroy the road that SCP-973 appears on, you ask? Yeah, why not? The foundation had this same idea, and in 1983, the section of highway affected by SCP-973 was demolished okay. in an attempt to stop it from manifesting. Uh -huh. This attempt failed, though. Why? All this led to was SCP-973 changing its location where it immediately began engaging in the same deadly behavior. Oh gosh, man. Numerous attempts have also been made to try and capture both 973-1 and luck with that. In one such event, Good luck. several teams of SCP Foundation containment specialists were dispatched to its section of highway with the mission to subdue and contain the anomaly. Uh-huh, what happened? After multiple attempts to get SCP-973 to appear by driving down the highway at various speeds, a car carrying several agents was finally successful, and they spotted the flashing red and blue lights of 973-1 behind them, as the message telling them to run began playing over the radio. Oh gosh, did it no kill them too? Warnings, the anomalous police car closed in on them, even faster than the agents were expecting, Should and it? immediately began ramming into their car. A van filled with additional containment specialists was dispatched to the area to help, and when they reached the area that the GPS Do tracker this? on the pursued car led them to, they found that they were too late. Oh gosh, advertisement again. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you want me to react, leave a comment below. I'm trying my best to have a more diverse channel for you guys from different cultures, so please bear with me. Gonna continue reacting to this one, watching this one. Okay, they were too late. That they were too late. So what are the same thing? Oh gosh, oh, it's there. The agent's car far off the road was ruthlessly tearing their bodies apart. So shoot it! The driving containment team immediately began firing on 973 in an attempt to save their fellow Foundation agents. Oh gosh! The team's weapons appeared to cause some injuries to 973-2, showing that it is perhaps vulnerable oh. to lasting damage, just like the 973-1 vehicle is. In a What's not gonna stop that? One of the agents described SCP-973's new appearance. His eyes were red, and his mouth, it was just a black hole. Oh gosh! No tongue, just a hole. No other reports would come from this incident, though, as this agent was the only survivor. SCP-973 killed the other nine agents and fled the scene. Yo, While it is that's gruesome. That the Foundation team was able to wound the anomalous creature. It was neither contained nor incapacitated in any real sense. Just don't the take that road, then. The 973 incident occurred just nine days later. SCP-973's ability to seemingly appear at a new location and the difficulty it has shown in being contained Gosh! has gotten it a well-earned Euclid classification. The roughly 60 kilometers of highway I'm not taking that road. That's all. is under satellite surveillance at all times, and all traffic between 10 p.m. and 4.30 a.m. is diverted along a non-highway detour route, by force if necessary. Ooh. Unfortunately for the SCP Foundation and the general highway-using populace, uh -huh. these security protocols have necessitated frequent updates. Ooh. Because while the area that SCP-973 engages in its predatory behavior on is well known, both the time of day during which it will appear and the area it seems to affect are expanding. Oh gosh, so it's not gonna stop. Okay guys, so that was it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction. This one is SCP-973, um, a spooky and freaky one, of course. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if there's a video you want me to react to. Okay, I will try my best to react to it. Okay, thank you so very much. Bye guys.